Hey everybody, you're watching We The Fandom, where we discuss comic books, pop culture, and the fandom experience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content. How's it going everybody? Jacob here at We The Fandom, and given the upcoming release of the Black Widow film, I wanted to make videos explaining the comic book versions of the main characters. This will be the last of those videos, as I'll be going to see the film in a couple days, and will be posting my reaction that day. Also in the description, I put that this video may contain spoilers. I'll let you guys know once we get to that part of the video in case you want to stop watching, but let's get into it. So Taskmaster, aka Anthony Masters, first appeared in Avengers issue 195 in May of 1980, and he was introduced as a foil to the Avengers who was able to copy the moves of famous heroes such as Spider-Man, Daredevil, Captain America, and Hawkeye. You see, when Anthony Masters was a child, he found out that he had photographic reflexes or the ability to mimic a moment or behavior after only seeing it once. When he grew up, he decided to use this ability to try and become a superhero by watching and mimicking heroes fights. He would later realize, however, that the hero business wasn't very lucrative and instead choose to use his talents to train the underlings of famous villains. Now this origin would be slightly updated in a retcon that came out in Taskmaster Volume 2 in 2010, where instead of trying to be a superhero, he had become an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D and while on a mission at a secret Nazi base in South America, a dying scientist gave him a serum that boosted his photographic reflexes and short-term memory at the cost of his long-term memory. That meaning, as the more fights, moves, abilities, and even languages he would memorize, the more of his own past he would end up losing. He would spend the rest of his life as a mercenary as well as opening up academies where he would train people in all the techniques that he had learned. His students would include government agents, villains, heroes, and henchmen. He would even at one point act as a trainer for the Avengers Initiative, when the Registration Act was put into place after Civil War. The most pivotal moment in Taskmaster's history was when he rediscovered his origin story. This happened while he was being chased across the world by various organizations after a bounty had been placed on him by the Org, someone he only knew as his handler. In his quest to regain his memories, he learned about how he had originally taken the Nazi serum and in the process forgotten about his wife, Mercedes Merced, which also turned out to be the true identity of the Org, as it was Mercedes' only way of being closer to her husband, who could never remember her. However, Taskmaster also figures out that it was actually someone else who had set the bounty on him, a villain calling himself Redshirt, and who wanted to form a new organization out of members of groups like AIM, Hydra, the Sons of the Serpent, and many others. During their fight, Taskmaster was having trouble as Redshirt was using a martial art created by the Shi'ar, an extraterrestrial race. And while Taskmaster could learn it immediately, doing so would once again cause him to forget his wife. Realizing it's the only way to save her, he quickly learns the new fighting style, defeats Redshirt, and then leaves, with his wife left knowing that they can never truly be together. Afterwards, Taskmaster goes back to taking missions from the Org, who he doesn't remember is actually his wife. Honestly, even though he's not a major villain, I love this character's backstory as well as his prowess. Speaking of which, I wanted to go a little more in depth on his abilities. So Anthony Masters is an expert martial artist and at his physical peak due to rigorous training. With his photographic reflexes, he's able to instantaneously duplicate any physical movements without any training or practice. There is one caveat to this, however. He can't duplicate superhuman feats, such as super strength or super speed. He can't project energy or anything like that. His ability to duplicate others is limited to what the normal human body can perform. And again, the side effect of this ability is that it pushes out old memories leading to a constant state of amnesia. Now is when we get into potential spoiler territory, and really this is just speculation. I'm not saying that this is guaranteed to happen in the movie, but I believe that the character of Rick Mason in the Black Widow film, played by O.T. I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of his name, but I think that the guy who's playing Rick Mason may actually end up being playing Taskmaster. Now, Rick Mason is actually a character in the comics, not a really big character, and since the MCU likes to blend comic book characters together, I could see them blending Anthony Masters and Rick Mason. This is also due to speculation throughout the YouTube community on who Taskmaster could be. People thought it could have been Rachel Weisz's character, Iron Maiden, but then we saw a trailer of those two characters fighting. Uh, it can't be Red Guardian because he's too big, and I don't think it's Yelena Belova. But honestly, who knows? It could really be a separate character, or it could be one of the ones I just named somehow. We just won't know who's playing them until I see the movie. But yeah. Taskmaster is the character that I'm most looking forward to in this movie because he's such a cool character in the comics, and I hope they do him justice. Down in the description, you'll find the last three videos that I made for the other main characters of the Black Widow film. I didn't make one on Natasha Romanoff. Her comic book history is pretty similar to what we've seen in the MCU so far, so there isn't much to speculate on. But I hope you guys found this video to your liking. If you did, please leave a comment below. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.